when we process the command line to extract the values from it. It is not typical to simply directly compare to each of the numbered variables. Normally what we do is examine the first command line argument. Process it, either saving it, or setting a variable, or taking an action, and then go to the next item. Since the different command line arguments each are stored in a variable with a different name, this would be difficult to do by directly accessing each variable. So Bash gives us a mechanism to simply slide the command line along as we process each item. That command is shift. If we start with our script that displayed the first four command line arguments for us, we can go ahead and add a shift to it to see what it does to the stored command line. This was our script to display our command, how many things were on the command line, and what was in those things. As a quick recap, dollar zero is the command, dollar number sign is how many things are on the command line, dollar one would have the first thing, dollar two would have the next thing, and so on. If we run this to remind ourselves how this works, when we run it with nothing on the command line but the command, we see the command and that there were zero arguments and all the numbered variables are empty. If we run it with some things on the command line, it will fill up as many numbered variables as necessary and put the count of them into the number sign variable. Let's go ahead and add a shift to see what happens when we slide the command line arguments. We'll begin by displaying what we began with so we can see our starting point. We'll tell ourselves what's happening. We'll make it do the shift. Now we'll go ahead and display what is resulting. So when we do this, we expect things to move and to change the count because we're going to have one left when we shift the entire command line left. Whatever was in dollar one will be gone. Whatever was in two will now be in one. Whatever was in three will now be in two and so on. Let's go ahead and run this to see how it works. We'll put some things on the command line so we can see what it does. We began with A in 1, B in 2, C in 3, and D in 4. We ran a shift command. We no longer have four things on the stored command line in memory. We only have three now. What was in 1 is now gone. The A has disappeared. B is now in 1. C is now in 2, D is now in 3, and 4 is now empty. Let's take this one step further. Let's go ahead and make it shift again. we should see that we get down to two things on the command line and only the one and two variables should now have data. And indeed they do.